I've gathered up the accessories that you're going to want to have at your fingertips for getting ready to embroider on the Foff Creative 1.5 sewing machine and now embroidery machine. So you do have the hoop that comes with your machine. I've got some fabric and stabilizer. We're going to do some hooping videos. The embroidery unit needs to be attached. That part will attach by taking first off the accessory box and just sliding it into place. On the USB stick is a couple things you need to print off. So this information is on here. You might want to save it if you want. Um, I did find that you can get that information also on FOF's website. On the information that are more than just the designs on the USB stick is the built-in designs. And I've printed some of them off that we will be using in the upcoming videos. Like there's two alphabets in three different sizes and some of the fun designs that you can see that you have. There's actually a ton of designs and cute designs. I think I'm going to do one of these little flowers here. Uh, this is a lot of information as well. We also have on the USB stick the embroidery intro software sheet that will show you how to install the free software that comes with your machine. Remember you got that code that was in with the manual. This code under here is what you want to use to activate the downloaded software from FOF's website. And this is the information on how to do it. So if you're unsure, that information is the step-by-step -step directions. Next, you need some embroidery needles. Yes, I happen to have a hundred pack here. The Inspira embroidery needles, you can buy those from your local FOF store. They're a lot less expensive and you're gonna need them anyway. So embroidery needles are much sharper and they have a little taller eye to help with all the uh, decorative threads that are going through there. You wanna wind a handful of bobbins of bobbin thread. Bobbin thread is much, much thinner than your embroidery thread. So find bobbin thread at your local FOF store, they'll help you with that. Well, I usually will wind a whole bunch of bobbins and then I don't have to worry about it. A note about bobbins, pre-wound bobbins are an option, not my favorite. If you ever run into any troubles, usually that's the problem. So I like to stick with the bobbins that came with this machine and bobbin thread that I have wound on it. I have a lot more control over it and I seem to always get the results I'm looking for. Embroidery thread, again, go with quality embroidery thread. If you have any thread that's older, you might not want to use it. It really makes a difference. So if you have any thread, make sure that it's not just cheap embroidery thread because that does tend to show the difference. But you're looking for thread that has the sheen. This is an Isocord brand. We sell a couple different brands at our store. This just happens to be what I have at my fingertips today. And then I love this brand because number one, there is a little place you can hide the thread and click it close so they're not unraveling in my thread box. Next, we do need to pull out the embroidery foot. So we're gonna show you how to attach the embroidery foot. We also use this in the free motion video. So if you are um, free motion quilting, you can actually use this foot as well. You also will need a pair of very sharp, small curved embroidery scissors. These come in multiple different kinds and sizes. My favorite one is Kai curved scissors, K-A. AI. Uh, that's all we sell at the store because everybody fights over them. And so what we did was we got rid of all the other ones. This is all we stock. And those of us with the bigger thumbs, this has holes to accommodate those of you with larger fingers. So one of our favorites. I also like to use a little 505 spray adhesive. We'll use this when we put the fabric and stabilizer together. It's like a post-it note in a can, and that way it's a lot easier to hoop. So if you're ready, those are the basic accessories. We're gonna get started on how to get it all connected, plus how to do your hooping. We have some excellent videos on a whole series of stabilizer. Uh, so watch those videos while we'll link over to those right up here. Click on the little eye. If ever you see that little eye popping out to the side, that is us telling you, hey, this is the video that we're speaking of, and that will link you over to that other information. So follow along, and if you're ready, I'm ready to get into the embroidery part of this fabulous machine. 